ask him how long y'all. So I, I just, uh, I just texted him. I will let y'all know. Oh, it looks like he got a week ban for uh, hate speech, but it was a guest violation, so it will probably get overturned there. Uh, we're gonna go to move on to our next guest, y'all. Uh, I'll let y'all know if Parker does get that ban appealed. Uh, what's going on, A? How old are you? I am 21. What's up? Uh, 21. Sweet. Do you think that being a lesbian is wrong or immoral? Um, I think being a lesbian is wrong. Okay, but, yeah, why so? Um, because I'm a Christian and this goes against my religion. Okay, so yeah, can you name one verse in the Christian Bible that tells us being a lesbian is wrong? Yeah, I was here last time and you asked me that same question. Now I'm ready. Let's hear it. Let's All hear right. it. Let's so. hear it. <laughs> he left. <laughs> oh no. L guest in the chat. Oh my lord. L guest in that chat, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all, we're gonna go to move on to our next guest if we're watching and we do you think that being a lesbian is wrong or more we show up at the guest request. Uh what's going on? How old are you? Hello? Hey, what's up? Are you driving? I can't I I, I gotta disconnect and call you back, man. All right, he was obviously driving. Everyone coming up into the live, I appreciate you for being here. Linz, I appreciate you for the extension to the one-month sub. Uh, right now, we don't have any guest requests at all, y'all. So if you are in here and you want to watch some debates, make sure to help me out here by double-tapping, uh, by sending out this screen, uh, sorry, by sending out this stream to a couple friends. And additionally, you could really help me out here by responding to uh, this poll, y'all. Uh, I'll, I'll send it up here shortly, y'all. But we're going to go to load up our next guest here, guys. If we are in the guest request, make sure that we do think it's wrong. Uh, what's up, Butthead? How old are you? 19. 19. What year were you born in? 2010. So, you just you just hit that one with full confidence, didn't you? Yep. Okay. All right. Just full, Just full confidence, right? Maybe... Just maybe, if she said it confident enough, I'd just ignore it. Darlene, I appreciate you for the subscription. We're going to go ahead and move on to our next guest here. What's up? How do you? Isaac, hi, do you speak? Oh, I just wanted to say fuck Trump and fuck people who think being lesbian is wrong. Yo, W Fetus, high key. All right, moving on to our next guest here. Yo, we have no guest requests at the minute. We really need to try to get it sent out across that for you page. Y'all could really help us out, right? Uh, just by double tapping on that phone screen. Everyone, seriously, start double tapping right now. Uh, what's up, Jordan? How old are you? Um, I'm 26. I did not mean to. Um... No worries, Jordan. Have a good rest Sorry. of your day. We're going to go ahead you. and move on to our next guest here, y'all. Uh, we're having a hard time breaking out of TikTok jail. Yo, Patrick! Thank you so much for the whale diving, Patrick. Um, W Patrick in the chat. Make sure to drop a comment. I want to make sure I follow you on this account. Uh, but what's up, JV? How do you? Patrick, thank you for the money gun. W Patrick, y'all. W Patrick, guys. Um, all right, they didn't load up. We're going to go to move on to our next guest here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we got Parker, the guest request. Let's go to let Parker up here real quick. Uh, what's going on? How do you? Hey, Parker. What's good? I, I got banned. I was literally at 4,000 people and I Dude, got banned. Dude, I saw that. That was awesome. Then you got taken down. <sighs> Fucking TikTok. guest speech. I mean, I only have like uh, 40 minutes anyway, so cause, or less than 40 minutes. I have 35 minutes, so I didn't oh, have much yeah. time anyway, so... It was Dude, good to I, see that I was actually able to send out though. We had twenty percent following, so that I, I know, was really that happy was to huge. see that. That was huge. That was like, dude, that was huge. I I feel like I haven't seen you with twenty percent following in months. Yeah, I was gagging men on the on the body count topic. I was I was watching, and I understand why you had twenty percent following. You were fucking them up, bro. You I was were, fucking them up. You were fucking them up, dude. Uh, this account is in TikTok jail. We're day two trying to get out of TikTok jail here. I don't even know what to do, dude. It's like we're I'm so deep in TikTok jail that I can't even get debates. So Yo, what's good? What's up, Sean? How do you? I am 41. 41, nice. Do you think that being a lesbian is wrong? Oh, by the way, I did notice a slow push out, by the way. And Zid, thank you for the five dollars and fifty-five cents. Thank you so much. Another day, another dollar. Thank you so much, Zed. It's good to see you. I I could debate this if you want, but I have a request. Can I debate Parker and yourself the high body count one? Actually, mm -hmm. it's really funny you say this because I was just about to ask Parker if he could send me his background so we could just continue to run the high body count topic. All right, I like it. Oh, okay, I'll do so it right now. Yeah, we're, this yo. is going to seem. Do you want me to wait or do you want me to continue? Oh, well, feel free. I uh, just get. Oh. Well, he, he when he gets back. Rachel, thank you for the roses. Yo, like uh, that's crazy. You read my you read my mind there, Rachel. I hope you're doing good. Uh, right you on, read my right mind on. there. You read my mind there, Sean. And how you doing this afternoon? Um, kind of shit. Oh well, that's not good. It's okay. Better it's than bad, right. dude, right? 
Better than bad. All right. Let's All right, man. The- In the meantime, everyone, do tap that screen. Do share the live. Hopefully, we can help Dean out here. I did notice a slow push out today uh, in the very beginning, but it started pushing out once I started getting debates in. So it should work once you Thank you for the confetti dust up here. Okay. Yeah, yo, w, pa- w, w Parker, y'all. Um, all right. Uh, all do right, you so- think that a high body count uh, should matter for women but not for men? Jury, okay, thank you so much is, for the money gun. This is going to sound kind of contradictory. So yes and no, and I'll explain. I believe that for the survival of our of our species that men were kind of geared towards to spread the seed spread the seed spread the seeds in order to survive right so that's what i believe now as far as today's standards go i mean i was i used to live in the you know sex drugs and rock and roll in my past before i came to jesus sean i don't, I don't mean to cut you off uh, i would just say that um i did get my account back appeal approved so thankfully yo w Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay here though. Yeah, 40 uh, minutes. Yeah, I won't I won't I won't be long, man. Um so yeah, as far as uh, society standards, now that I'm a Christian, I do believe that you know it shouldn't matter, you know. But I would say with you know, rap music, other things like that, society's norms, the most of society believes that you know, if you're a woman with you know having sex with twenty men, then you're a hoe, you know. Lindsay, I appreciate you for the five dollars on Finmo. Thank you so much, Lindsay. Is, so here's what I'd respond to this. So I mean, like, I don't think what like society thinks uh, should really dictate like what ought to be the case. Like, for instance, a thousand years ago, right? Uh, most men uh, thought that like a twelve-year-old girl was more desirable uh, than a twenty-year-old woman, right? Uh, would this mean that uh, like it should have been the case that a twelve-year-old girl had more value in the sex market than a twenty-year-old woman? No, I agree with you. I agree with you. I told you I'm a Christian, so I believe that it shouldn't matter. You know, if I if I went out with a woman and I wanted to marry her and she count she cared about my body count, well then you would she might have to count me down and out. But I'm oh. a new creation in Christ. But I want okay. to know your stance. Well, since you on... don't think it matters, Sean, I do appreciate you for coming up, man. We're gonna go to move on to our next guest here. Woo! Is a wedding today? Oh, he doesn't have his headset on. Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast. Dude, I could stay on and actually show everyone my suit. I just realized that. Yo, do it. Hell yeah. Uh, what's up, whatevs? How old are you? What's up, man? I'm uh, 28. 28. Nice. Do you think that a high body count should matter for women but not for men? Uh, Yeah, I do. So are we completely off the uh, lesbian topic? Yep. I got I, I to see how Parker runs these debates, bro. Take it away, man. For sure, Wait, man. What? Yeah. Do Do you think that a high body count should matter for women, but not for men? Uh, yeah, I think that it should. Yeah. So why so? Uh, because the psychological process of like falling in love, um, tends to get skewed whenever you're having sex versus when you're not. So you're saying that like you're less likely to be able to fall in love if you have more sex. Uh, yeah. With the yeah, I do. I do. I believe that uh, the okay. more that you have sex. Like around with people, sorry, yeah. So, like, wouldn't that be true for men too? Uh, no, it would not be true for men. Why not? Uh, because men hormonally are different from women. What hormone particularly changes this? Uh, I would say I forget the name. What is it? I forget the name of the the hormone that it is. It's released more so in women than than men. Uh, but it, it, it there tends to be a lot of scientific evidence behind it. So no, you don't have any of the scientific evidence, but there's apparently some hormone that releases more in women compared to men. If you're referencing like oxytocin, there can be greater levels of oxytocin release in men specifically and lesser in women. In certain circumstances, you wouldn't say that it would matter differently there. And there's also subsequent sort of hormones that are actually making up for this in men. Wait, wait. But but I, I I I would say that it would matter depending on the circumstance. Like so, give me an example of when men release more oxytocin than women. When and men in engage in intercourse, they 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 release more like love hormones than women. So men release vapopressin, dopamine, and oxytocin. Uh, meanwhile, women release sorry vapopress vapopressin, testosterone, and oxytocin. And then women release ex- estrogen and uh, and oxytocin. And then men would release these three hormones at higher rates faster than women would release there too. So they just fall in love quicker from sex, uh, from just a purely 
um, like hor- hormonal scientific standpoint. So when you, when you make claims such as like women fall in love faster from sex, um, just given our scientific evidence, it's false. In fact, the opposite is true. Yeah. So where'd you get this study from? So this is coming from Amore University. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Amore University. And what's the, uh, what are the critiques to that, that study? Is that the only one that you have? Because normally, I mean, uh, a study is... Do you, do you have any fucking somewhere. study? Bro, bro, ask the critiques of the study that you brought up. Yeah, do you have any fucking study to indicate otherwise, sir? Well, I can't pull it up on my phone now. It'll pause me. So you're saying that I need it l- more than one study, but you don't need even one to begin with? So, I <laughs> one, I didn't say... I didn't say that you needed it. I just asked what was the opposing view from that. That's all I asked. I don't know. I don't think there is an opposing view. Typically, when we're talking about scientific, yeah, because you haven't looked for it, which you're biased. Sure, and you sure. Hey, for sir, <laughs> none of this and can you come. You didn't from even you. look for an initial source. So what the fuck's the point? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like, <laughs> like, dude, like what all the we're fuck are describing you to about? you is just like the level of the level of uh, hormones released. That's just a descriptive claim about like what is going to occur in terms of how many like hormones, right? There would be like a subsequent study that could show something else. That would be the response. That would be the critique. I see, right? Ben, thank you for the hand. Otherwise, back. you could say that there's critique in the methods they found, that they used in finding out this information, but I don't think that those critiques would be very valid as I think the scientific process that we have for that is pretty solid, right? You would more or less critique yeah, things it, like that. It's, 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 pretty solid. Like, it's pretty solid from one study? No, no, it's solid for us determining what particular hormones are releasing. Yeah, like, like do you think study, that at least that we know what hormones are releasing? Yeah, the study just describes the hormones that are released and the rates in which they're released at, right? It's not like some political, like, uh, debated, um, you know, like, possibly. It's also like peer reviewed. Like, the, the, they would have these sorts of things in the peer review process. Yeah, like, this is just how it works. I mean, would you have like a, like a newer study to indicate that it's wrong? That this isn't the case, right? Any any reason to critique the given evidence? No. So what I'm saying is, is based on and uh, granted, I will be perfectly honest here. I did go to a Christian university, right? And so whenever they had studies, what I found from their studies is that they were extremely biased in a Christian perspective, and then on the secular side, they were extremely biased in a secular perspective. And so it was kind of hard to weed out who's telling the truth because they would always science isn't science if, isn't if trying to make know, a claim if, about if theology sense, science right. is just describing reality right you can say that there are people that have particular perspectives in which could show you that biasly right but you'd have to show that to us like you'd have to like look at the study be like oh this is what i see to be biased about the study otherwise right like we wouldn't see any reason to do otherwise because we're just going to give you the best reason we have right which is going to be this yeah so if, yeah like this if, is if like you, so fucking really annoying believe that like, sir can i just can i just cut you bias. off can i i'm just going to cut you off this is annoying if you're going to keep talking about why you think the study is false you're going to have to give any evidence or any reason you can't just blurp out bias wrong what's the critique you actually have to like give us any like compelling reason to not believe this so i mean like that that's just like one thing that really grinds my gears. It's just really fucking annoying. So do you have any evidence to indicate that the findings of this study from an Amora University are wrong? I think you're gay. But I mean no, that I mean that's about it. No actual argument? Is that really all you have to say? <laughs> <laughs> What a fucking intelligent man, dude. What an intelligent man. Holy shit, dude. What a what a response. What a dude. response, dude. Dude, that guy, dude. <laughs> that was crazy. You know, he's really showing he's showing he's showing women here today, you know. We got a we got a real smarty pants on the live. Real real smarty pants. Uh we're gonna go ahead and move on to our next guest here chat. We have like no guest requests. Um I'm still in TikTok jail because of the two permits. Uh sorry, one second. Let me just uh um on my camera real quick give me a moment um so turn it on hi how do you wait i'm 19 uh my can i not turn on nope you can't so do you think that high body count should matter for women but not for men okay so i'm gonna try and you know actually give you some like proper like psychological research and evidence that would indicate that the type of things you're advocating for um 
may not lead on to things which I know you have an idea in your head that it's a good thing what you're doing, but it may not actually be ac actually a good thing. Because like, look at it here. You're advocating for women to have a lot of high body counts, you know, it doesn't no, matter. That's not, no, that's not what we're advocating for. We're just I mean, advocating it, against hypocrisy. Well, no, let's be honest. Come on now. We don't genius, need to Genius, we're arguing that it, that it should matter equally for men and women. Yep. Please, Parker, give me a moment because I think you're a bit confused, but I'm, I'm just trying to explain it to you. No, anyway. I think I'm you're confused. I was clarifying the topic to you. Like, you oh, were the one that was confused. Hold on one second. Me. Hold on one second. Let me finish my point. Thank you. No, um, I mean, if so it's that dumb, I'm not going to let you finish. Just, just yeah, calm down. Real. Just, just please calm down. I mean, no one's upset. Um, so right? We're just clarifying um, what the topic at hand here is. So, you're, again, I'll try and help you understand your position. What you're saying is you want you, one. You want, you want to help us oh, understand what we think? What you're saying is you want women to have high body counts, but the issue is what this leads to is, you know, it can lead to, you know, lack of a father figure in the household if women are just having children here and there because they want to have more sex because people like you want to sit here and be like, yeah, just, you know, keep, you know, it's no different. Or you could see the other way around when men particularly feel the okay to go around and sleep with a bunch of people because they're not as stigmatized as women are for engaging in the exact same behavior. So you right. understand that your particular argument here would actually yeah. lead to a greater amount of people because men can get multiple people pregnant in a particular year span whereas a woman can only get pregnant once if there's not a miscarriage i mean again this is the responsibility of the woman i mainly put on the woman mainly because you know majority of the time it's a woman who decides whether it happens or not let's be honest we don't need to lie here same thing so with men else that would be great no as no? I was saying, please dispute that premise wait wait men don't decide if they want to engage in intercourse I think you misunderstood my point. It's the point is that is the point is that it's far, far women, far easier for women to, you know, um, Oh, because men lack self-respect and don't have as high as standards as women. What Do, are you understanding what I'm saying? Yeah, I am. Yeah. You're saying that it's easier for a woman to sleep with a man than a man to sleep with a woman. Well, you don't agree you with this that? might be because men lack self-respect and don't have the same preferences and standards as it relates to engaging in intercourse as women do. No, I think it's because men understand that they don't have the ability to bear children, and so there's not that much of a risk. Oh, so a woman who's infertile, her her body count doesn't matter to you? No, see, in that case, again, it, it most likely would because... Um, Wait, why? I thought you just said that the body count of a man doesn't matter because they understand they can't bear children. Exceptions right? don't... Wouldn't an infertile woman, uh, you know, also understand that... Exceptions don't define the rule. No, we just disproved your principle, fucking genius. Relax. Yep. You you don't need to swear. I don't know if you're getting emotional, but fuck. I think I think what you're realizing is you're that saying fuck doesn't mean I'm emotional. But I think go ahead, realizing. go ahead, bud. Your argument just has no standing, and that I'm correct, and that I'm actually helping the population. I, I know so you want. To what's your counter? So your counter argument is nah. -uh. Like you you understand that we've like debunked your principle, right? We've given you good reason why it's wrong. We've given you internal contradictions, and I've even like supported my own premises with evidence. So and you then your argument back, back to, us to us is. No, I'm right, and you're so right. So you think that children having a lack of parents in the home will lead to good outcomes in any case because someone wanted to have a lot of children because they were encouraged by you to just go around doing whatever they feel. Do you think that's okay? Wait, I have a question. If a man sleeps with multiple women and gets them all pregnant and that man can't be a father figure for them all, would this man's body count matter just as much of a woman's? So can you repeat that question? Yeah, if a man sleeps with multiple women, gets them all pregnant, but, you know, obviously can't be there for all the children as he slept with multiple women, would his body count matter just as much as the average woman's? You do realize that the woman can say no? You're aware of that? The woman right? can say no to what? She doesn't have to have the children. <laughs> yeah, I don't see how this is relevant here. Pardon? Yeah, I don't see how this is relevant here, right? The woman engaging in intercourse with a lot of men can do the same thing, right? Yeah, is it okay for an infertile woman to go around fucking hella dudes because she cannot get pregnant? It still would not be a good idea because she'd still be encouraging those sorts of behaviors in other women as well. And so, again, it would definitely lead to the outcome which I described, which is bad, which you purposely have ignored and you purposely avoided because you realize it demonstrates a very big flaw in your argument. 
in that. Wait, like, you're like, purposely like, ignoring the fact that when a man goes out and sleeps with women, he can get them pregnant and he can leave those children fatherless. You are intentionally ignoring that fact in order to support your own view. Because when you support a society in which destigmatizes men engaging in intercourse with women, well, then all of a sudden you have a bunch of fatherless children, right? And if anything, right, I would say that this would put more of a responsibility on the man to be a father right and to be very careful about who is who he's engaging in intercourse with and raising right because due to the patriarchy and the fact that men have more opportunity in society than women oh. right a child is uh, more likely to have better outcomes raised by a single father in comparison to a single mother right so therefore a single like a father right a man he his body count should be more stigmatized listen, listen, so he doesn't make more women single mothers as you want you can give as many verbose explanations as you want but it does not disprove the fact that it is absolutely not a bad thing for men's having high body count because first of all it's a natural thing second of all there is no patriarchy the fact that you're still pretending a patriarchy what does it mean what do you what do you mean when you say that it's natural for a man to have a high body count why isn't why isn't it natural for a woman someone just didn't do biology class you, you don't do you know how mating works mating strategies for each gender or are you do i need to explain that to you Wait, is sex only for reproduction? You asked me, is sex only is sex for only reproduction? Yeah, got an answer. Um, w w let me ask you. Do, do no, you know is sex you only for reproduction? For? I asked you a question and I'd like you to respond. Is sex only for reproduction? I mean, I mean, why would it not be? Why would it not be? Or wait, so when you when you think of describing sex, you're right and whenever two people engage in sex they're obviously only doing it for reproduction right like it's it's obviously not the case that people in society engage in sex for pleasure i think you're purposely ignoring my point again. no i think I you're i actually think you're purposely ignoring my the second time no no user i'm gonna be i'm gonna be very upfront with this i think you're purposely ignoring my point here i'm not ignoring your point i'm well you then why then why did you pivot sense. away from it I asked you yeah, if you're... sex is only used for reproduction. The obvious answer is no. Yet you're somehow saying that a high body count matters for women more than men because of some notion associated with reproduction. Well, I mean, then why does the infertile woman's body count matter if she cannot reproduce? What you're doing is an appeal to add populum. You're appealing to the fact that so many people believe that. Yo, I want you to define appeal to add populum right now. Means. That's an appeal just for to the popular narrative that means it's so I'll go ahead and tell you what an appeal to add populum is an appeal to add populum is basically referencing what a lot of people think to justify it as being true. Please tell me where in the last fucking I don't know 15 minutes I've appealed to what people think in an attempt to justify that it's true and or correct. All right. My last question was just simply asking you why a, a, an infertile woman's body count would matter more than that of the average man due to the fact that you think body count matters more for women out of some notion of reproduction, but an infertile woman can can't even reproduce right so it's like honestly, honestly i just yeah. think you're prejudiced against women i think you're a flaming misogynist i think you're why women are choosing the bear over the man. You know, i would hate to be in the same room as you but just, i want you to go out and answer my question why would the body count of an infernal woman matter more than that of a man if she can't reproduce and your entire argument as to why you think the woman's body count matters more is because they bear the kid oh an infertile woman can't fucking do that why does her body count matter more you're one of the biggest pygmies. Oh my goodness! Damn, wait, I, hope I don't wait, sir. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I don't need to be picked, right? Okay, that's it's exactly why you ignore my. <laughs> that's why exactly why you ignore my. Yeah, yeah. So wait, are you you're, saying you're that I'm just doing this to be picked mind. from that's women? The thing. You're not willing to change your mind when oh, someone. Oh, I'm willing to change my mind, but you just actually food. won't give me an argument. Wait, no, whining, bitching, complaining, and main and and moaning is not an actual shit. argument and or evidence. I asked you a very direct question, and you cannot answer my very direct question. I specifically asked you why the body count of an infertile woman is going to matter more than that of the average man when she can't reproduce. Give me the argument, sir. I'm waiting. Okay, listen, my dear boy. Let me explain this to you clearly, because you know. Clearly, someone in your life hasn't explained it to you. So here's the case. You know, you want to keep bringing up the infertile woman, but this isn't the gotcha that you think it is. You think it's, oh, it's a good point, but it really isn't a good point because it is still an inherently biologically, which if you know biology, that means it is a fact, is biologically a bad thing. So again, what's um, a bad what's thing exactly? Oh, even an infertile woman having a high body count. Yeah, why is that a bad thing? Did you did you hear what I said? 
Yeah, I, I heard I'm you say that you just that called it a bad thing. We're together on planet Earth, and that we understand that regardless of whether someone is fertile or not, it is still a bad thing. If yeah, I, I, I hear you saying it's a bad that. thing, but what I'm asking you for is an argument for that claim. So, like, That's why is that a bad thing? That's not the way that it's meant to be. Yo, W. Su Wait, how do you know that to be the case? What, how do you know what is meant to be and what isn't meant to be? Are you religious? Um, no, I never stated that. You don't need to make assumptions. But it's, so it's then very... why do you think we'd he have like, some assumption. object? He asked you a question, genius. Park, please, yeah, come on, please, genius. Please, please, please. Yeah, w suit, I'm W suit. Not adding anything to the conversation. So let me um explain to you quickly, Dean. I don't know if that's your name. That again, um, it, it, it is. Top left. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, he probably can't read, Parker. Okay, hilarious. Um, again, um, it's biology that that is not the case that is meant to be. And when you start trying to change biology, which why? is a tactic you use, again, let me finish explaining. You don't have to interrupt. Um, again, when you're trying to change biology, it causes big issues. When you tr start trying to do things like, oh, why should a high body count matter for women, but not for men and start saying comments that are ludicrous. Okay. You're so here's all bullshit. that you've told us up until this no point. point. Something about None biology. Those comments are ludicrous. <laughs> yeah. Something, something about um, women's biology makes their body count matter more even if they're infertile and something about men's biology makes their body count matter less um but he hasn't clarified what that biology is he hasn't you know given us any reason to believe this he's just kind of been all right Again, repeating this claim like a broken record for like pregnant, the last 10 minutes that can cause issues but can infertile women get pregnant ignore that conveniently ignore that point that again that can cause issues for can children. infertile women get they're pregnant? just going around and you know no yeah, so the answer is no kids. infertile women can't get pregnant but yet you still think their body count matters more than that of a man why you can keep pretending like it doesn't which is quite sad because again you want to be wait paid. yeah i wait i'm not just gonna okay. pretend like it doesn't you can know keep pretending like you have a reason for it why it's applicable why? in the scenario but without providing one i i know dude don't worry bro all right don't worry little man i talk to emotional narcissistic misogynistic men like you every single day of the fucking week and i love it because at the end of the day i'm smarter than you i'm stronger than you and i'm better than you in every wow. shape way or wow. form right and i will continue to reiterate this until you can give me at least one it's reason so why the body sad. of an this infertile is woman is going to matter more than that of the average man that you have to come on here and do utilize pseudoscience to bat, back your claim. Wait, asking, like asking you for an argument is pseudoscience? <laughs> this is wild. Is this what you do? Yeah, uh, asking for arguments equals pseudoscience. So real, dude. So real. Get this guy a Nobel Peace Prize, please. Someone, <laughs> Thank you for the someone, someone, look, someone get this guy, get this guy on fucking Ellen. You're making up ridiculous statements. This is actually wild. I don't know how you can sit up here and do this like uh, let me ask the comments does anyone in I'm the gonna... comments actually agree with this like genuinely yeah type a one in the comment section if you that... agree with me and dean type one in the comments high section. body count should matter for women can we just come back to planet earth and reality or are we just gonna pretend damn are, are you gonna read the comment section are you gonna sit here and pretend like there aren't thousands of people out here that agree with these particular standpoints oh in God, this line 500 500 people they're, they're 500 Six hundred people. You, you, well, you no say that they're misguided. Way. Whatever, right? There's eight hundred people. people that just said it in the comments. <laughs> oh my god! You deluded them into thinking that you're correct. This is wow. <laughs> Wait, you this haven't even given us one reason why why we're so wrong. This is so unfortunate. Dude, you, you haven't given us one reason right why we are wrong. You are the I delusional one. I just explained one. to you that that what should not so be What is so unfortunate is that you are the delusional one. You, you have mean, not given me one. Wait, the truth we're going we're gonna to go ahead and do this. I, I, I'm going to give you the stage. I'm going to give you the mic, and here's what I want you to do. I want you to explain right in great detail to me why the body count of an infertile woman matters more than the body count of the average man in this very specific context in this very specific instance tell me why that's the case okay uh you don't have to mute my mic it's a typical tactic because you're afraid of the truth getting out because you just want to keep muting the mic so let me explain this to you my dear boy let me explain to you how biology works as i was saying I'll try and break it down in a way that will be more simple you simple for you to intellectually understand. So again, um, if we look at, you know, 
you don't even need to go back a century to understand the differences between men and women and their different mating strategies and how things are supposed to work to have a coherent society, which is a good thing. I'd hope you agree that a good thing is that, you know, we don't have issues with households. But regardless, let, let me let me stay on point. So there's a reason why it is quite frowned upon for a woman to be just doing things anyhow, at least compared to men, because again, a simple biological fact, which you can keep denying, women do get pregnant. I know, you know, you don't like that, but that's the way it is. They do get pregnant, they have children. That is a fact. And so when you have a culture that, you know, encourages women to start going around and having many children, it causes issues because, you know, women are going to get pregnant, you know, and it's inevitably going to happen. Then you're going to have a lot of kids without parents in the home because a lot of unplanned pregnancies. And we know birth control isn't always effective. So it, we should not encourage, you know, it says why should a high body count matter? The reason why it should matter is because we don't want to create a culture that can cause issues like that. And again, you, you keep bringing up the infertile point, which I responded to multiple times. And I've said that when you, if you, even if you had infertile women doing it, that still encourages the culture that would then encourage. And, and again, you're bringing up a very small minority. It's a very, it's like saying, uh, how many eyes do human beings have? And I say, well, some people have one eyes. The answer is two. Let's be real now. We don't need to go to small minorities. But even in that case, you're still wrong. So if you can't wrap your head around that, I, I don't know what else to say to you. There's not really any point in me speaking, but I've generally disproven your statement and there's not much else for you to say. So yeah. Have you understood? 100% of females over the age of 55 are infertile, not a small minority. Additionally here, if you're saying that we should not encourage women to engage in intercourse, right, and we should rather scrutinize it to prevent unnecessary pregnancies, why wouldn't we just say the same in the context of men? Shouldn't we also uh, like scrutinize the body count of men so they don't go around, right, impregnating women? Um, no, because that's a natural thing that a man um has to do to genuinely you know um it's, it's a natural thing that a man to achieve his biological um um his biological destination he needs to uh do things like that well women however that's not the case need so. need what do you mean by need yo <laughs> parker parker's mogging right now bro parker is fucking mogging parker right now, listen man. here um i know you you look smug but it's quite sad you don't think that Sex for a man is important. You don't. You don't think that? Oh, I think it's important for both men and women. I don't know why you'd only apply this to men. No, 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 no. It, it really, it really isn't. There's a reason why women aren't going around like wanting to have it, but men are because it is just this, isn't is. Is this just how you justify not being able to pleasure your woman? Yeah. Hilarious. Have you ever made a woman finish so in your life? sad. Life? Parker, come on now. Come on now. This yeah, is it, it is pretty sad. It's it is pretty embarrassing. It's very embarrassing. That you very embarrassing. Don't know how to pleasure a woman. It like is you, embarrassing. At least you know it. You hit ad hominems because you, you, my point is too good. You don't know how to come back to it, so you just have to insult. <laughs> just, just if you don't know how to pleasure a woman, say it. You just you have to insult to escape the point. It's a tactic. It, it makes sense. I wouldn't blame you. You know, but yeah, you, you don't have a point at all. So I don't know why I. Wait, wait, point. What, what was your reason? What was your argument? I'm his the one without a point. That, Have you given an argument yet? His argument is that it's natural for men to engage in intercourse. You don't, again, we do, can But it's not natural for women to engage in intercourse. It's natural for men, but it's not natural for women. So what does natural mean? Um, we're talking about high body count. and like doing it in excess like you've got on the title there. Like, we don't need to pretend here. Just let's stick to, let's stay on Can planet. you define the word natural? Pardon? Yeah, define yeah. the word natural. You don't know what natural means? Do you, do you want me to give yeah. you the definition of natural? I do. Yeah, yeah, because you're you're using it differently than typically typically people use it. Because if you talk about natural, it wouldn't be natural or not natural either way. Like I don't think you could consider a body count natural or not. Like that that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Uh, it's absolutely natural. I can't uh, believe. Is it me. natural for you to be on the phone talking to me right now? Um, that, that's a you're obfusc obfuscating the point you're you're, you're... <laughs> that's not an obfuscation right i'm asking you is it natural for me to be on the phone right now talking to you that's a false analogy how does no clearly it's not natural yet yeah, yeah. you don't consider it wrong for me to be on the phone talking to you right now so you what you're what doing I mean. is in one scenario you're saying natural things are good and unnatural things are wrong but when i ask you in this scenario if what we're doing that's unnatural right now is wrong you say no Right, so you're you're engaging in a principle, something that's applicable to every single scenario, but failing to apply it to the scenario. So then I'll just ask you, 
what's the relevant difference between this scenario and the other scenario that means you apply it to one but not the other? Uh, in the other scenario, the implications of your point and the agenda that you're trying to push can have detrimental um, issues in society, whereas in the other case... Be specific. Big of a deal. Uh, I explained this to Adin. Oh, you obviously weren't here. I don't know what you were doing. Um, but you, what, what do you uh, think? I was putting on a suit. Could you not put two and two together? I came on with a suit before. No need to be I mean, after I didn't have, after I had a suit on, before I didn't. Just calm down. You don't need to interrupt. I'm completely um, calm. Relax yourself. So, um, again, as well, I was explaining into okay, him. Okay, user 222215688875335. Very good, very good. So, um, as I was explaining to him, women going around having high body counts would cause a lot of parentless children if you're encouraging that culture, which would be a very big issue. No, actually, men going around having high body counts would actually cause, right, single parents because men are the ones that typically leave these scenarios. One, two, if men got multiple women pregnant, how are they going to take care of all of them if they're literally not able to do it and work themselves? Parker, you have not provided one data source for any of the points you brought up. This is genuinely poor. Which, which one would you like? I'll bring it up right now. You can bring up any one you want. Any no, no, be specific with which one you'd like me to clarify. Yeah, what is one point, Parker? Like, do you, do you, think, do you think, on? Who, what's more common, single mothers or single fathers? What's more common? Answer the question. Um, yeah, but that, Clearly. That, 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 hold on one second. Hold on one second. Um, that brings up other issues as well because um, obviously you What's got, more common, deadbeat moms food. or deadbeat dads? What's just, more common? Don't need, just please, please don't interrupt. Can you answer, answer question? one question? Yeah. It just looks bad when you interrupt. User, with all due respect, you no, haven't answered one question. Come on, be, be more tasteful. No, what looks bad right now is that you have not been able to answer one question since you've got up on here. I've so answered your question. You I've answered your question. No, you, you haven't. No, you haven't. Answer part of the question. Because you realize you have nothing to say. Hey, user, that's cute and all, right, Pooks? But go ahead and answer Parker's question. Appreciate you. The thing is this. The thing so is you, this. So, hey, hey, could you say I, user, am like a fucking dumb and I can't answer Parker's question? This is question? embarrassing. This is genuinely embarrassing. Why, why is it embarrassing that? Oh, why is, is it embarrassing sad. for me and sad for me that you can't answer a question? I've answered your question. Wait, wait, chat. Do y'all think this is embarrassing for me and Parker you can or ask embarrassing your chat for user? You've deluded, but again, I've answered oh, your question. Oh, because only you so know the truth. Times. Then why won't you answer this one? Parker, listen here. Do you think it's do you think it's a good thing to have Hey, hey, know, user, why won't you answer this one? Hey, hey, user, already, I'm not let, I'm not already, letting you off the chain here. Parker asked you a question that you have not point. answered. Hey, Parker asked you a question that you have not answered. Parker, Parker asked you if there's more single moms or more single dads. to come and help you. I caught you in a lie. What, what, what lie was that? Help you. No, there's no lie here. I'm just clarifying Parker's question. That I'm just hearing gaslighting from user 22215. Yeah, calm down, little bro. You sound like my ex-girlfriend from sophomore year of your school. So go ahead and answer Parker's question, big dog. What, what is your question? Ah, there we go. <laughs> what? What? What, what, is your what, what, what were you saving? What was Dean saving me from if you didn't even know what my question was in the first place? I was I was saying something to you. You just completely ignored it and then started saying. Wait, something you completely that. ignored what I said and then asked what the question was. I didn't ignore anything you said. It just made no sense, so I have to repeat. So then, it why didn't you clarify? Why didn't you ask a clarifying question? This is this is silly. This is genuinely silly. You're just playing child games here. Like it's like talking to children. It's very difficult to have a meaningful adult conversation with you. I, Wait, I don't do do children typically not answer questions when they're scared? They do. Wait, who children did that on this slide? Who's doing you that did. right now? Oh, shit! It looks like we are playing child games, but we just so happen to be the parent in this hypothetical. Yeah, this... so, so user 222, I'm just going to answer the, ask the question again. What's more What's common, the... deadbeat moms or deadbeat dads? There's all the, I, I literally explained to you there's too many other extraneous variables and factors that are affecting that. Again, you can say that in a second. I'm just asking you a simple question. Which one's more common? Which one's more common? Mm -hmm. I mean, there's studies that go each way that, you know, would argue no, it's that not. more common. No, nope. no, not at all. You don't think there's I mean, any that. Uh, oh, yeah, please show me. <laughs> I'd love to see it. You don't think there's any that could refute your points? Yeah, wow. yeah. Give me one. That's yeah. crazy. You're denying literal studies. That what study? That what study? Name the study. Name the that study. Is wild. Name that Name the study. Is wild. Wendy, Name thank you for the five dollars. Thank you so much, Wendy. Can we get yeah. some? Can we get some trust me, bros, in the chat? Isn't it a trust me, bro? I've I've got the evidence, and I'm providing it to you. But you you just want yeah, to. So wait, what's this? You said that there's plenty of studies. What's the study? Um, I mean, there's oh shit, I don't have one. Yeah. 
And you want to know something funny? This wouldn't be based upon the study. It'd be based on the U.S. Census. But you're too much of a fucking to be able to realize this. Forty-three okay? <laughs> percent of American children live without their father physically present, while only eight percent live without their mothers. Right. So this whole idea that you have here that specifically women going around sleeping around is going to cause all these all these scenarios where there's deadbeat mothers and deadbeat whatever. Right. That actually is more common to happen when men are the ones going around sleeping around more. So anything your argument here is actually arguing that you should stop sleeping around, stop going around because men like you, men like me, men like Dean. Right. Aren't staying around as common. You can give as many long verbose explanations you want. This is embarrassing. Hey, I'm buddy, done, that was 36 I'm seconds. Shottish games. This oh is yeah, go ahead and run. No, little bro, right? This you is embarrassing. Run. It is. I no, hope Dean, Dean under so 30 seconds is, is a lot for him. You know, we have to be I, we have to be considerate. Yes, Wendy, thank you for the five dollars on Venmo. User, it is embarrassing. Goodbye. I hope you wake up one day. This is embarrassing. <laughs> so this is where He's he running away. He ran away. He ran away. He ran away. He ran away. Yo, let's get a fucking let's get some baby bottles in the Oh chat. my god, yes, please get some baby bottles in the chat, everyone. I'm oh gonna get god. off right now, but fucking baby bottles in the chat. That guy was literally fucking unbelievable. Actually Dude, unbelievable was, chat. That that guy was pretty rough. Like I was like, here, wait, should I show everyone this full suit? Here, let me unplug everything. Here, let me make you big. Let me make you big. Dean, you can make me big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. How do y'all like this suit? Sheesh! Oh, got the shoes? Yo! Oh, yeah. Fire suit! Fire suit! All right, everyone. I appreciate everyone. I will see y'all later. Love y'all so much. Tomorrow I should be on. Actually, wait. No, later I might go on live when I'm, like, fucking croaked. Uh, I appreciate <laughs> the fireworks. Thank you so much. I'll probably be on, like, my second or third account. So if you want to come through and say hi, you can come do that. Um, otherwise tomorrow I should be on probably around like 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I have a like midday uh, flight. So I, I will see everyone then. Love y'all so much. I will be back tomorrow if you want to support me as always. And Dean, Venmos and Cash Apps in the bio, everyone. Hey, love y'all so much. Peace out, everyone. Have a great night, y'all. See ya, Parker. Um, then also, Parker, I bet that I bet you'll be I bet you'll be tuning in here just for one second. I just wanted to tell you this. In the last 48 minutes, we've gotten 6.5 thousand total views. Chat, this account is cooked, y'all. This account is so fucking cooked, guys. 6.5 total thousand views in the last hour. Um, we usually get like 40,000 in an hour. So it's cooked, guys. Uh, we're gonna go to move on to the next guest. I don't, I don't really know what to do here, guys. I don't, I don't really know what to do here. Uh, yeah, but W Parker and he's going to a wedding. Uh, what's up? How do you? Twenty five. Nice. Do you think that a high body count should matter for women, but not for men? Well, what, what I actually just want to you know say, man, is that I like y'all's guys' knowledge of this stuff is really impressive to me, and I actually get on here to these b debates just to learn from you guys. And uh, hell yeah, so, yeah, I just want yeah, to say that I think what you guys do is awesome. Awesome. Well, man, I appreciate you for coming up. Yeah, man. Thank you so much for your time. We're going to go to move on to our next guest here, guys. If we are in the guest request, make sure that we do think that a high body count should matter for women, but not for men. Guys, if you want to support me, my Venmo and my PayPal are my bio, y'all. Um, you know what? Really rough day today. Really rough day today. I don't even know what to do. Maybe, like, maybe we could try a restart. Maybe we could try that. What's up? How do you? 44. 44, sweet. Do you think that high body count should matter for women, but not for men? Yes. Okay, yeah, why so? Hang on one second. So, why so? Hey, I'm going to drop down. I'll bring it back up in a minute, okay? No worries. Uh, all right, guys, we're going to try to hit a little bit of a restart on the stream here. We're going to try to hit a little bit of a restart on the stream here. The following glitch is too bad, y'all. So I'm going to be back live in uh, 60 seconds. And when we do get back into the stream, guys, make sure that we double tap on the phone screen that we're sharing it out with a couple friends. Uh, we just need to kind of break through the following glitch here today. Uh, and if y'all could help me out with that, um, I'd just, um, it, it, it'd be awesome, guys. So please, 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 please come back as soon as I go back on live and spam the comments spam the likes and spam the shares just to help me out here i uh, will break through the following glitch um i i love y'all i'll see y'all very 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 soon just hitting a restart yes
miss, brother. 